What's going on guys? Seha Man back with another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the long-awaited 1-4 scale NECA Batman Returns the Penguin action figure. This is something I've been wanting for quite a while. If you guys are in the local area in the city of industry, make sure you stop by Best Collectibles at Frank and Sons Collectibles and you can pick this bad boy up which is where I got this from or Click on the link in the description below and pre-order this from Big Bad Toy Store to get yourself one. You won't have to worry about driving anywhere and uh, just be delivered to your door. Anyways, guys, so this is the packaging right here. You got the um, Batman Returns. You know, if you guys saw Batman Returns, it's kind of like a Christmas kind of theme. It's snowy in Gotham City. So you got like the snowflakes and everything on the side. You get this really cool image right there of um, the Penguin, which is played by Danny DeVito. On the inside of the card, you can see they have, uh, I don't even know if you can make that out, but they have like an artwork from the the penguin right there when he's running for what is he running for mayor right so it says Oswald, Oswald Cobblepot for mayor um, he does come with a few accessories this one didn't come with the umbrella I forgot the reason why they didn't include include the umbrella and the top right here I don't know if you can read that but it says Batman returns a penguin Oswald means order you got a really cool image right there of the penguin right here the Gotham background the snowy uh, city and then you got it right here. This is really cool right here. I love the um, the background in here. It just totally knocked my light down You got the bat signal in the top right corner. So really cool. You got the snowy background it includes alternate hand uh, Monocle cigarette fish removable top hat and coat. So we're not getting the um, the umbrella and that's his signature You know, you know weapon that he uses. There's a little description right there if you guys want to read feel free and pause. Um, right here on the other side you get an image of him without the jacket and with the um, the fish right there. So what we're going to do is open this bad boy up and we're going to see how cool this figure really is. So stay tuned guys for the review of the penguin. Alright guys so here is a quick little 360 look at the penguin and this is just a beautifully sculpted figure. So this is what he looks like without the coat and everything when he's like in his you know just his penguin mode. And then you come down um, a bit. I'm going to see how much I can do this with the uh, tripod, which I probably can do because of space. But, yeah, can't do it. <laughs> so I'll show you guys a close-up on him in a second. But here's a quick little 360 look at Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. the Penguin. So some of the accessories he does come with, he comes with his uh, his top hat right here. It is a um, soft rubbery material. You can see the inside right there. And it's pretty much just black and you can see the little like um you know i don't really know much too much about top hats but like the little ribbon right there and then there's the bow tie right here but you got this hat right here so again soft rubbery material you get that you get the coat now this comes in the bag so if we open this up i'll do it on camera so i can show you guys exactly what this looks like and we can see it together this fancy mink coat get this out of here so oh wow look at this look at this yeah, I'm gonna wear this. Look how dope this is. This is pretty cool. So you get this really cool um, uh, coat right there, and it's it's kind of a it's a little on the rough the rough material, but it's very nice. I mean, look at this. It's got the different coloring, and um, this is actual cloth, guys. So this is pretty cool. And you got the fake fur right there. Very very cool. Um, does this have any pockets? I don't think so. Oh yeah, I guess it does have pockets right here. So he does have actual pockets right there. I don't think they're working pockets. They might be. I don't know. Yeah, they do. They are working pockets. You can see right here he does have actual pockets. So, and I believe he has them on both sides. So you get the um, the coat. There's the inside of it. How cool is that? So you get the coat. We got the what half eaten fish. If you guys remember that when um, Christopher Walken's character is trying to bribe him, you know, to run for mayor, and then you know he feeds him this fish to like lead him downstairs. And uh, so you got the fish right there. Looks pretty good. You can see the eye. I think I zoomed out accidentally, so you can see the um, nice little detailing on the fish. It is a, again, soft rubber material. So you got all the cool little details and stuff. Whoops, there it goes, but that's the fish. You get an extra interchangeable hand. Now I'm guessing this is to probably hold the fish. I don't know yet, I guess we'll figure out in a second. But look at the detailing on this um, on the hand here. It looks very nice. The nails look really, really clean. All the wrinkles and stuff, the shading, very cool. So you got that, and there's a peg there. Now you get the, you also get the monocule. I think I'm saying that right. The monocule, the little eyeglass right here. Um, there's a little like a uh, peg right here. I believe it pegs in. I haven't really messed with it yet. And it comes with the string. It comes with a little baggy too, so that way you don't lose your, you know, your accessories. And then he's got his little uh, cigarette right here with a little holder, st little stick holding thingy. I don't smoke. I don't know what you call these, but got that right there. Very fancy. 
so you can display them with that as well. So those are all the accessories that he comes with. You have the um, the insert right here, which does read Oswald Couple Pot for Mayor, which is pretty cool. You got it on this side right here, and then you have it right here as the uh, the backdrop. So you you can see this in the movie uh, Batman Returns. So looking at the penguin, this is actually a very, very nice head sculpt. Now, if you guys are wondering if you've never seen Batman Returns or just don't remember, the black stuff around the lip is kind of like the split, because uh, the split, the spit, because he does slobber a lot in the film, if you guys remember that, and he's always like spitting this black, you know, spit that comes out of his mouth. But look at the shading, the wrinkle, the wrinkles in the um, in the forehead right here. I think Danny DeVito did a great job as the penguin, and this figure just, you know, totally brings out the um, the character or the actor. You can see the side view right here. Got the big old pointy nose right there. You even have the um, the holes in the in the nostrils and the teeth. Man, look at that. Get a close up right there on the teeth. Look how cool this is, guys. Very, very nice. You have the, um, you can see the ears right here, and then you have the hair, which is actually um, some like, you know, certain kind of material. You can see that, and then the rest of it's like sculpted on. And there's the top of the head right there. Very, very cool. Love how this guy came out. Coming down to the rest of the outfit, you have his little onesie that he's wearing, the little the little tie right here, which is a soft material, and the little, it kind of looks like a bib. It is a separate piece right here. You can see that, and you can see the buttons that are going down this. I call it the onesie. I'm pretty sure it's not a onesie, but you can see it's kind of dirty right here. This almost looks like, like I said, a bib. And you got the collar right here. The tie is going all the way around. It's not, I don't think it's all a separate piece. Maybe it is. No, it's not. It looks like it's sculpted or glued up here. Um, the outfit looks pretty good itself. You can see here, Penguin has this huge gut right there. If you lift the arms up, you can see all through there. It's got some really nice shading. Um, you have the back. The back. There's a scene, if you guys remember, in Batman Returns where, where spoiler alert, where uh, the, the Penguin dies and he just falls over. He falls over and uh, it just looks funny from the back. And this is pretty much what it looks like. So you can see there's the, um, the butt area. It looks like that's a zipper button there. There's the lower legs right here. And then the same thing goes with the... Uh, the front. You can see there he has a lot of torn um, areas in his clothes and you can see the skin. So you can see he's got a bunch of tears here, here, and also like right here in the chest, over here in the arms. Here's the hand right here. How cool is that? Doesn't that look really cool? Like the way they um, just sculpted that. Then you got the inside part right there of the palm. Got the like the freaking flipper um, hands. And then you have the boots right there which are very, very cool. The uh, laces that are tied right here are soft rubber material. You can see all the cool detailing. The bottom right there, you got the boots. And then there's a side view of his, uh, of his like Frankenstein-ish boots right there. Such a cool piece, guy. This is a beautifully sculpted figure. Now I'm gonna go over the articulation with you guys, and then we're also gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you what he looks like with the, uh, with his other outfit on. Now look at this, this is kind of jacked up how his hand is. But um, as far as articulation goes for the penguin, the head can rotate. Kind of goes up and down, not too much. The arms go in and out. It's got a swivel here, a bend at the bicep, her elbow, the, the lower arm can rotate. Hand can rotate and go in and out. You can see that there. Get his arm to go down. You gotta kind of maneuver this around so it doesn't look funky. Um, what else we got here? You got the upper torso rotation here. No real ab crunch. Uh, legs don't really go in and out too much. They kind of rotate, it's got a bend at the knee, lower leg can rotate. As far as the foot goes, the foot can go up and down, kind of twist it around, almost has like that ankle rocker, but not too much. And that's about it, there's no toe articulation. So he's not that articulated, but you know, it's a penguin. I mean, he's a big guy, so you're not gonna, he's you know, not really doing all kinds of crazy like moves and stuff. But let me show you what he looks like with the rest of the outfit on. Okay, so here you have, Oswald Cobblebot, or Oswald Cobblebot Pot, <laughs> or the Penguin, right here. So you got the monocle uh, glass on, the cigarette, and you have his um, huge uh, jacket, that his oversized jacket that he's wearing. But that's what he looks like right there, and I think this looks beautiful. So in case you guys are wondering how to put the glass on, um, remember I showed you it did have a peg. Now he, I don't know if you can see it, but on the um, what is the left eye? I don't even know if this is gonna pick it up, but if you go in, he has a peg hole right in the in the inner inner part, like the corner of his eye, and all you gotta do is just plug that plug that in, and it'll stay in place. So that's really cool. And in the cigarette, he has a gap like somewhere in between the teeth, and you can fit the um, the cigarette in there in his uh, in his mouth, and it looks pretty cool.
And you can see right here, here he is next to the 1989 Batman. So NECA, go ahead, give us a Batman Returns version of Batman. Also, give us a Catwoman. But how cool is that? So now we have a Batman, Michael Keaton, and a um, Penguin. All right, guys, there you go. There's my review. Today we're taking a look at the Batman Returns 1-4 scale NECA Penguin. This is a beautiful figure, guys. You're definitely not going to be disappointed. This is a must-get if you're a Batman fan, especially like me. Batman Returns is probably my favorite Batman movie. Um, I just love that movie for so many reasons, and this, this figure right here definitely captures Dan Danny DeVito as the Penguin. And it's so hard because you would actually want to pick two of these up because he looks really cool with his coat and the uh, the top hat and the glass and the cigarette uh, and he looks awesome without it he looks more menacing without it so it's really up to you if you want to pick two of them up or it's kind of be, you know you can always change up the look depending on how you want to display him but this is a beautiful piece guys the cloth coat you get a lot of accessories the fish the cigarette the um the glasses the top hat the only complaint I have about this figure is where's the umbrella they should have given us an umbrella it would have been cool if we got one with a sword um one with uh with like a you know like like that like hypnotizing thing where you try to do with hip, uh Christopher Walken definitely should have given us umbrella you took away his signature piece but um let me know what you guys think about this figure did you order him if not pre-order my big bad toy store click on the link below let me know what you guys think about this figure Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Share the video, guys. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Peace.